In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a screen magnifier called Magnus. Now, today I updated my website, and if you found this on YouTube, I'll provide a link below the video that you can go here that shows you how to install the program and how you can use the program. And it's very simple. It's not a lot to it. So to start with, you bring open up your terminal. And so open your terminal as you normally do. And if you don't uh, want to go through the menus, you hit Control-Alt-T. And then you just simply copy this PPA, and we're going to add it. So I'll bring back up my terminal, and I paste it into the terminal. Press the Enter Return key. Put your password. And after you put your password, type press the Enter key or the Return key. And then it's going to prompt you to press the Enter key to continue. So press that. And while it's updating my PPAs or while it's uh, installing it, into my PPAs, adding it to the repositories. I'm going to copy the update. Now in Ubuntu Mate 18.04.2, you really don't need to do the update, but if you found this, uh, you may not have this version I do. So I'm going to update it for anyone that doesn't automatically update it. So sudo apt get update. You don't really need the apt get. You can just get by with apt. So you press the enter key. You don't have to enter your password unless you wait a significant amount of time and it times out. And then this is the line that's actually going to install Magnus onto your system. So while we're waiting for that to update the PPA, here's a definition. Magnus is just a very simple screen magnifier. Now you really can't see the screen magnifier here, but once you get down to the bottom, you can see that how you go through the applications to open it if you use the traditional menu. You can see that I have a little conky with the time up here on my desktop system, and this is the magnifier, the Magnus magnifier dialog box or window. And you can, multi you can change the multiplication from two times, three times, four times, and even five times, as you see in the image. Now, it should be updated the PPAs. Let's enter the command that will install it. It doesn't take long. It's not a very large program. It's a very small program. It's almost finished. And once we finish it, we'll exit the terminal, and then I'll show you how to access it. Now, uh, Magnus is a program that you can, has an adjustable window. So you type exit, press the enter or return key, and then I'm using the traditional menu. That's my favorite. You go to universal access, and uh, you're going to see Magnus in your menu. Now, after you reboot, you may see a, a magnifying glass uh, it, uh, replacing the what you see currently in that image. As you saw uh, on my desktop system, to access Magnus, as you can see, it had the little magnifying glass. So uh, it's probably because that you only saw the gray area because I have got a very dark theme. Now, as you can see here, you got a little small window. Now, when you put the mouse pointer over the program itself, you get a transparent background or the checkered board background. It only uh, displays something when you move your mouse pointer around. It follows your mouse pointer. So if I'd like to look up here, now you can make, you can stretch the size of the window. So don't think when you put it over, oh my God, it's broke. And don't think that you're dragging this apart. This is not a magnifying glass. You're not moving this around. You're moving your mouse pointer and you're docking this somewhere in a corner, somewhere where it's out of place, uh, where it's not in, you, in your way. So if I dock this down in the left-hand corner, let's say I want to look at my little uh, emojis and widgets and things that I, or icons that I have in my system tray. As you can see here, looking down there in the corner, you can see it very easily. Or I can bring it up here and I can scroll across and see the fonts and the icons a lot easier. Now, if I wanted to make them larger, I can go here and I can say three times the size of normal size. As you can see, it makes it very large. So I'm going to go back and you've got the ability to go four times and it, and it kind of makes it look like it's uh, pixelated because it's made it so large. And then this is going to really make it pixelated. But you can adjust the window size. If you want it larger, you can go to the edges. And it's like a lot of windows. When you go to resize them, sometimes it's hard to grab. But you can grab them. Uh, like, for example, here's a place where I would like to use magnification. When I go to look at my little emojis, and I'll pull it away from here, sometimes, let's say, for example, my objects. They're very small over here, but I can use the magnifying glass and move over those. And I can see the emojis very, very easily in my little Magnus magnifier screen. So this is a good example of where you'd use it where you're looking at things or items or objects that are very small. Like if you're on a web page and want to read the text and make it larger but don't want to zoom in with the whole desktop as you can when you use a, a within your conkeys or your magnifications 
in that way where you're zooming in the whole screen. This just allows you to move the mouse pointer around and look at the zoomed area where your mouse pointer is located. Now, the thing about this is, is you notice it does zoom in and shows you the highlighted icon or emoji, but you don't see your mouse pointer. And that's really because if you look here, that little film strip, my mouse pointer is covering over it. You don't want to actually cover over it. So it's almost like taking a screenshot where you have the option of not showing your mouse uh, pointer. And that's a good feature because you don't be read text, be reading text and moving around and looking at your mouse pointer covering over your text. So that's a very nice feature. So, uh, and this is great for a small laptop like I'm on. When I did my web page, I did it on my large desktop with a large screen. This is a very small uh, HP Pro Book that has a very small screen. So this magnifier comes in handy when looking at very small objects. It can magnify them and making it easier to see. So that's basically all I wanted to show you is how to install and how to use uh, this little magnifying glass uh, called Magnus. Hopefully this has been a help to you and have a great day.